See, buying insurance can be complicated. But its importance and necessity in today's world simply cannot be overstated. From hospital emergencies to mishaps, we have to ensure that we're protected and avoid unnecessary financial burdens. Now, while most of us are aware about insurance, I feel like there's a lot of us yet to embrace, let's call it the gift of digitization when it comes to insurance services. And the reason is all these myths surrounding buying insurance online. So in today's episode of The Policy Project, I, Jagu, will be your host and we'll be debunking myths about buying insurance online with our special guest, Neeraj Gupta. Now, Neeraj is the CEO of Policy Bazaar UAE and he spends his days walking through that ever-changing and intricate world of insurance to help us understand the fine print and save money. Now, the concept of buying insurance online is growing in popularity. However, many people, me included by the way, have some thoughts and even fears that prevent us from making that switch from traditional agent-led insurance practices. So, I'm going to talk to Neeraj about all of that. Keep it really simple and we'll try and make it useful for you. Stay tuned all the way till the end to get some insight and have your greatest fears around buying insurance smashed. Neeraj, welcome to The Policy Project. As always, it's great to have you here. Thanks, Jagu, for inviting me and lovely to be here. Neeraj, to kick off our conversation, there's a couple of basic things that we want to understand. This mode of buying insurance, as we've been doing for many, many years, has always been offline. You go to your bank, you go to your insurance agent, you go to your insurance broker and you buy insurance. Now, technology has moved forward. It allows us to do things online. Yes. COVID has hastened that process. You want to do this online. You don't want to enter someone's office as of recently. Okay. But people believe that there is a certain discomfort factor in buying insurance online because we're not comfortable with doing that. We're just used to doing it in a particular way. Can you just explain the process to us about insurance online buying? So I will like to answer this by going a bit back, right? Before insurance or financial services turn digital, I believe consumer had started buying, let's say, travel tickets online, right? Earlier, you would stand in queues for trains or just to be a reference on that, right? And you would just buy tickets that way. Or airline tickets, you would go to a travel agent and buy, right? So that turned online. Post that, nobody thought that e-commerce is going to become online. Nobody thought I'm going to buy a pair of jeans or shoes online because I can't do touch and feel, right? That also turned online. So now if you look at financial services or specific to insurance, it's eventually a promise, a piece of paper which you get issued once you do a transaction, right? There's no physical good as such being delivered. So with the onset of e-commerce coming in, consumers becoming more comfortable doing that, people have started adapting and accepting online financial products, right? So there are set of consumers who still are comfortable in meeting and speaking to an agent, but there is a huge online generation. For example, my parents would still love to meet somebody and do a transaction, right? But my age group or younger to my age group have moved to digital, right? They don't know. They Even a younger generation would have never seen a bank, like would have not, never gone to a bank, right? So they are very comfortable. So if you look at the audience, which is typically between a 25 to a 40-45, they are vastly looking at digital, whereas a population which is 45, 50 plus, they are in between, right? Some are comfortable with digital, some are comfortable with offline, but that is where we are today. So, you know, that's the tech part of it and how we adapt to the technology. There is the other factor that when a, you're sitting with an insurance broker, you're sitting with your insurance agent, you expect that he or she will advise you as to what policy to buy. But now say you go online. You're on the Policy Bazaar UAE website, for example. There's a plethora of options. Now, this is never a bad thing. But sometimes this gets overwhelming. So that differentiator between getting one or two recommendations, this policy is good for you, versus going on to the Policy Bazaar UAE website and seeing 101 options, won't it get overwhelming? Uh, So we took this uh, as a feedback long time back, right? So what we have, we have a digital assisted sales model, as we call it. So it's not that the consumer comes online, has to do all the transaction on his. There's always assistance available to him, 
which he can initiate a call or my our sales agent will call him or there is a chat option available there is an email option depending on how the consumer wants mm-hmm. it he can have a sales advisor available with him throughout the journey advise him on the different plans see the idea i understand from your perspective if you talk about a common man layman's perspective it might become overwhelming right but what we have done consciously is to address that by simplifying the jargons of insurance which a layman can also understand right so what we are doing is we are evolving our website with the consumer interacts with by taking all this feedback over the last 12 14 years and simplifying it further sure. so our objective is anybody who is not from the insurance world is looking at for example a motor insurance health insurance for the first time in his lifetime he should be able to understand whatever it means that is what we are trying to simplify right and at the same time being an overwhelming but it also transparently tells you about all the options so that is where we are moving to you know i want to come to that and taking this whole thing of speaking to somebody offline but now you're saying the option is also available it's a myth that you only have yourself to make judgments uh, when you're looking at something online you also have sales assistants one can also talk to somebody on the phone now will someone like that also help me with choices with what would be the best option for me because the best policy for someone else need not necessarily be the best one for me to be able to go through premiums what kind of cover what kind of add-ons can i expect to get that assistance from an online platform so the agent the sales advisor who's going to be assisting you throughout the journey his objective is to understand your needs very clear right once he's understood your needs he will let you know about the options see typically what we will do with the consumer is advise him of couple of options the last call resides with the consumer right so we will empower the consumer to take a decision that is what our objective is to give him enough information which he can absorb in a very easy manner and eventually take a very informed decision that's our objective right on insurance of becoming a digital provider is to make informed decisions a healthy consumer take informed decision by giving him the right information so our advisor will help you with all your queries on that front you know niraj i'm glad to hear that because the uae is a special market it's not like others where you know you're looking at literally one geographic location yeah there are so many insurance policies that are offered in the uae that have to do with cover in the uae as well as cover in home country yeah and these things become important in trying to choose which policy you want to take and i'm glad to know that there is some level of assistance available to be able to choose the right policy but i want to come now niraj to another point and another huge myth that well deserves busting but here's the thing why do we take insurance so that if something untoward happens we can claim that insurance why are we paying those premiums over yes, years absolutely the point is that a lot of people are used to then taking hard copies filling up a form going to their insurance agent chasing the insurance agent the insurance company to go and get their claim eventually passed on the online space i don't have anybody to do that with so then the worry becomes if i do this online and i have to make a claim i have no one to talk to i have no one to go with there's only a website there's only an email address how does policy bazaar resolve that so couple of things here right we obviously have an inbound number email whatsapp where a consumer can reach out at any point of time once he's bought a policy right and we will respond very quickly on that now having said that see what also makes a difference is a lot of consumers at times call us ki okay we deal with our agent he's been there for 5 years and i know if there is some problem i'll just go to him or call him right but the nuances of that is it's a individual agent you are relying on right but tomorrow if he is not there he leaves what do you do whereas in the digital space at least you are interacting with a company which has been there for 14 15 years is reliable it's not only an individual who's dealing with you it's the entire company which is dealing with you so even if the agent leaves the information is still there somebody else will come in and help you with that right at the same time what happens in a digital is now all the information is also passed on to the insurer respective insurers in a digital manner so the insurer companies have every information available regarding the policy 
So now while filing a claim, it becomes a lot more easier. You don't have to do a big physical form, sign those forms at times. You just need to go in, fill a digital form, intimate the insurer via an email and phone, and the things start moving, right? So you can do it from your phone. You can do it from your laptop. You can just do it on the call. So it gives you a lot more flexibility. Obviously, you always have the other route to walk into an insurance company and do that. But why would you do that when the convenience is available, right? So in fact, this gives you a far better convenience and it gives you a trail, right? All communication that happens has a trail. In the physical medium, there was no trail also. It was I said, he said, she said, right? Whereas in the digital medium, the good part regarding a claim is you have all information available and you have a track record on what has happened at which stage. And can I assume that uh, even the online platform will be helping the customer in getting the claim from the insurance company itself? Yes. See, the concept of insurance is what? As you rightly said, it's a promise. Anything happens unto her, which is as per the policy terms covered, the claim will come in and help you with that, right? Uh, what? Why typically, if you look at the, there is a problem in getting a claim is due to the information mismatch. That's the primary reason, right? And if that is sorted, obviously, Policy Bazaar is always available to help the consumers with their claims. In fact, there are consumers who reach out to us who have not bought a policy through us, but they reach out to us because they don't know where else to go. And they have a concern issue. And what we do is we try and help those consumers as well because what we eventually want to do is grow the insurance pie for the industry, right? It's not that we just want to grow and we want to give consumers that confidence that insurance really works at the time of it. Absolutely. It's confidence building for the entire market, yes. not just for the company. And yes. I fully appreciate that. You know, I have a question. This came up in conversation more than once. I didn't realize it would be a problem, but in the online world, these things tend to be an issue sometimes. What happens if I lose online access? Because in my head, I'm thinking everything is digital. I don't have a scrap of paper on me. I lose online access to my account at Policy Bazaar, for example, or at an insurance company. Is this kind of stuff retrievable? Because I don't have hard copies of anything now. Yes, uh, because your account at the back end is always retrievable. But at the same time, what will happen is all your policy documents are typically also shared over your email, over your WhatsApp, and obviously in your My Account right? So as a result, consumer has multiple ways to reach out back to his policy. And anyways, if he's unable to do any of those things, uh, he can reach out to us through an email, WhatsApp or a phone call and we'll be able to help assist him. Now, Neeraj, on the subject of doing all of this digitally, a big issue, data privacy. Now, instead of having everything on a file, hard copy, I have everything as my on my account with Policy Bazaar. How do I know that things are secure? That somebody is not accessing it, somebody is not misusing it? So a couple of things which we wanted to always assure our consumers. One, there's very limited information available to our sales advisor. He is only privy to the information which he needs to help you guide on a policy. Right? One. Second, none of the sales advisor can take any information out of the ecosystem. No access is available. They work in a sort of a closed network environment where nothing is accessible. So we do that, right? And we obviously have third-party audits through Big Fours and Grant Horton and other companies we continue to use, which help us uh, design our policies and also help understand if there are any gaps exist. And we continue to do that. At the same time, if today, for example, if Jagu, you come in and buy a policy, I myself can only know ki okay is Jagu bought a policy, but any personal information I'll not be able to. So I also, uh, being the head of the company, do not have access to that information. Fair enough. No, fully appreciated. So data privacy is pretty much guaranteed, and it's on yeah. a need-to-know basis. And it's what is relevant is on, what is irrelevant is not on. Exactly. However, private or public that might be. Yes. Neeraj, before we let you go, and as much as I appreciate all the input that you've given us today, a lot of us are still getting used to the doing these transactions online. Can you give us a couple of tips just so that our experience is sort of smoothened? What are the first couple of things that we should do? So a couple of things which are 
like thumb rule for buying a financial product online, right? Be honest. See, what happens is when you are sitting across with an agent, at times you feel that okay, he might be able to catch me, right? So let me put in the right information. Or what typically will happen in an offline world is you would just sign our document and walk away and give him a check or a payment, and then the entire form is filled by the agent. So you don't know what has been filled. In a digital scenario, the form is there in front of you. The questions are there. Answer them as truthfully as possible. Because these are the questions on basis which insurer is going to decide on the premiums and other factors, right? If you declare that transparently, we've seen in our experience at times. Obviously, there are certain delays and claims processing and all. But what we have seen is. If all the information is filled in transparently, and still a claim falls in a grey area, benefit of doubt is given to the consumer, always, because see the insurance company, the distributor, the objective is to fulfil the promise that was done, right? So the first and foremost is give all information correctly. Second, do ask whomsoever is advising you digitally all the questions. Don't refrain from any doubts you have. Please go in depth. The advisor's role is to help you decide on a policy. It's okay if you decide not to buy in that instant or through that advice. That's perfectly fine. But our sales advisor's role is to help you answer all your queries, give answers to any doubts you have, and help you take an informed decision. That's the objective, right? So these two things, I believe, if you follow, you will not go wrong, and you will get the right policy. Neeraj, I'm very thankful for all the input that you've given us. I feel far more comfortable doing this online, being a little old school myself now than I did even 15 minutes ago. So much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. We're going to uh, distill all that information and put it down in point form, of course. But we're going to let you go. Thank you so much for that, Neeraj, and we're hoping to be able to speak with you again. Thanks, Jaggu. My pleasure being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Policy Project, where we busted some of the most common myths about buying insurance online with some insightful inputs from Neeraj. We hope that you found this discussion informative and helpful in your quest to make informed decisions when it comes to buying insurance in the UAE. Remember, the process of buying insurance online can be simplified. Do your research, compare quotes, and understand the terms and conditions of the policies being offered and opted for. I just want to go over some of the key takeaways that we've had from our conversation. For one, many people believe that buying insurance online is not secure and their personal information is at risk. However, reputable insurance providers and aggregators like PolicyBazaar.ae have very strict security protocols in place to protect your information. Secondly, contrary to popular belief, buying insurance online can actually save you money. Online policies are often cheaper than traditional ones simply because insurance companies don't have to pay for overhead costs associated with physical offices and agents and things like that. Another myth is that you can't customize your coverage when buying insurance online. However, you should be aware that many online insurance companies allow you to tailor your coverage to fit your specific needs. And just because you're buying insurance online doesn't mean you're on your own. There are customer service representatives available to assist you with any questions or concerns that you may have during the buying process. One of the most important advantages of buying insurance online is the facility to compare policies and quotes from different providers. This will help you get the best coverage at the best price. Remember, buying insurance online can be a convenient and cost-effective way to protect yourself and your assets. With the right information and research, you can find the perfect policy to fit your needs. Thank you for tuning in and stay updated and informed with more from PolicyBazaar.ae. Simply subscribe to us on your favorite podcast app so that you're notified of new episodes.